I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the republic for, for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. I'm Reese Blackledge. And I'm Jasmine Jackson. And this is your Daily Dose for Wednesday, March 24th. Be sure to keep properly wearing your mask at all times and use hand sanitizer whenever possible to help keep everyone safe here at school. Next week is spring break and the end of the quarter is tomorrow. Make sure you get in any missing assignments you have so you can enjoy your break. We have 10 weeks left of this year. Let's finish it strong. Let's take a closer look at RHS's very own eSports team. Hey, what's up, Roosevelt? Have you heard about eSports? Let's go and find out about them. Why did you start eSports? Mr. Perry and I started eSports, um, the growing popularity across all the colleges, as well as some of the RHS students uh, wanted us to uh, start it up as a club. What are some of the games that you can play in eSports? Some of the games that you can play in eSports are Fortnite, Rocket League, and Super Smash Brothers. What are the, some of the things involved in eSports? Some of the stuff involved is uh, as long as you have a platform to have those games, you can connect online, you can um, participate. What are the benefits of eSports? Um, meeting new people, um, networking across the United States as well as Canada with a lot of students in high school, um, and a lot of fun. How do the games work in eSports? So this year, due to the pandemic, everyone's playing from uh, home. Uh, how can people join? So at this point, the season's already started, so uh, if you're interested, we hope to have you next season. Where and when do you guys play? We play at home using our own consoles and devices, and whenever we have a match day, we play at 4 o'clock. What has the biggest challenge been? Biggest challenge for me, at least, has been trying to get my connection to work. What is great about being on the team? I like being on the team because it just gives allows you to play with different people, get to know new people, test your skills. Those are some interesting facts. Now back to the anchors. This week is Winterfest Spirit Week. This year's theme is icons. Spirit dress days include era days today, tomorrow is dress as your favorite music icon or your class's icon. Freshmen have NSYNC, sophomores have Britney Spears, juniors have Michael Jackson, and the seniors have Spice Girls. The final Spirit Day is Thursday, which will be Blue and Gold Day. Due to COVID-19, the 2021 lip sync was canceled this year. There will still be a video of pep rally events that will be played during Thursday during your fifth hour. Attention students, don't forget yearbook sales end on this Friday, March 26th. I really like this year's yearbook a lot. I came up with a theme in the spring and I had like a whole story and reason behind it. I liked it because of the situation we were in this year. And then once the school year started and we started like developing the theme and making the pages, I just fell in love with the book and the colors and just the way it looks, not just the theme anymore. Like the whole book is just, oh, I love it. I really like that we've still managed to make the book special, even though it's been such a crazy year and we haven't been in school the whole time. I think it's really cool to see what we've done with the book and made it the best that it could be. So my favorite part of this year's book is that we really tried to focus on the good aspects of the year and not just the COVID aspects. So you should definitely buy a yearbook because not only is it a book that like documents your whole year, you could be in it for playing a sport, for being in a club, for sitting in a classroom and just coming to school, you can be in the yearbook and your school photos in the yearbook. But you should also buy a yearbook because it's a history book and it's documenting everything that's happened this year with COVID, which is extremely historical. I think you should buy this year's book um, because this year is definitely a year to remember. And I know I wouldn't want to forget it, no matter how good or bad we thought it was. One day you could look back at it and be like, oh, like I went to school there. You can show your kids your classmates, show them what you've been involved in. Um, it's just kind of a cool way to reflect. You guys should definitely buy a book this year because even though we haven't been in school, we've still captured so many memories in this year's books. And it's this is a year that you're never going to want to forget. Go to yearbookordercenter.com and use the code 10884 to order your copy of the 2021 yearbook before it is too late. No orders will be accepted after that date. Now in sports news. Wrestling won the district this past weekend. Additionally, six wrestlers qualified for regionals. Max Biondo placed first and Desmond King placed third at 125 pounds. Michael Stathakis placed second at 160 pounds. 
Lou Peterson placed first at 215 pounds, and Matt Gardner placed fourth at 285 pounds. Congrats, guys. Also, congratulations to Angelita Rodriguez, who placed first in the region in bowling. She moves on to states this weekend. Attention, senior football players. There are three scholarships available to you. The Frank Gorski Memorial Scholarship is open to current seniors who have earned at least one varsity letter and have a GPA of 2.0. The Gene Knowles Memorial Scholarship and the Timothy Woody Woodkowski Scott Memorial Scholarship are open to current seniors who have earned at least one varsity letter. Please pick up scholarship information in the athletic office. Frank Gorski and Gene Knowles scholarships must be returned to the athletic office no later than April 2nd, 2021 and the Timothy Woody Woodkowski Scholarship is due no later than April 16th, 2021. Spring tryouts are finishing up this week. Games will begin after spring break for those sports. Attention seniors, the counseling department needs to know what your plans are for the fall. Once you have made your decision on which college you will be attending in the fall, please email Mrs. Doyle in the counseling office so a final transcript can be sent to that school upon graduation. Thank you. The RHS Book Club's second book has arrived. If you are a book club member and you attended the last meeting, please pick up your copy in Mr. Baker's room. Link Crew will be accepting, will be opening applications for the 2021-2022 school year. The applications will be open after spring break for current sophomores and juniors. Did you know that there are gel pens, ballpoint pens, and pencils available for sale in the LMC for only 50 cents? Next time you forget your pen or pencil, stop in to support DECA. Hey, Reese, why did the coach go to the bank? I don't know, Jasmine. Why? Because he had to get his quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, RHS. Remember, wash those hands and wear your mask. We leave you with one quick question. Good morning, RHS. All right, if you were a superhero, which one would you be? Um, I'd probably be Scarlet Witch because she can move things with her mind and she can have lasers out of her hand and she's just really cool. Uh, the Flash. Uh, the Flash, so I can run fast. Uh, Flash. Why? Because he's so fast and I could just dominate in all the running sports. I'll probably be Spider-Man. Probably Spider-Man, just so I could like swing around and stuff. Um, it'd be really cool to just like swing around the city. If I was a superhero, I'd probably be Iron Man, just because Tony Stark is extra, and he's kind of a diva, and I kind of see myself as a little bit of a diva. I think I would be the Hulk, because you'd get to like just rage out and throw stuff when you're mad and just be swole. I'd be Thor, because he's just really powerful. And if you could be any superhero, which one would you be? From Suicide Squad, I would be Diablo. Diablo. What superhero would you be, RHS? 